Hey, your Paul Keith. Hey, so, Vic's also a primer for this Colt. Yeah, indeed. There you go. We've done the process before. Yeah. Primer, hard enough, thin off. Primer, Honda, thinner, into the pot, give it a stir. Stir it up, stir, 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 stir. It does say, say stir there, yeah. Stir, correct. And then we're going to primer up the uh, the Mitsubishi Colt, CZT. That's it. Uh, three quality top tailgate pillars. Yeah. Uh, it's been exposed to the sun. Uh, it's a red one, and for some reason it seems to have uh, blistered a lot of the, lot of the paint on the bonnet and the roof. Yeah. Uh, so it's not so tight. I believe the roof's actually going a grey. Uh, we decided this morning it's going the, the cold grey. Cold grey, yeah, yeah. U63, is it? U63. I'm not, I'm not talking rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go and get the coat off the cold grey outside, yeah. so that's the colour the roof's going. Yeah, beautiful. Well, Just let's, because we're painting it, we might as well do something different. Something a bit nice. Yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see you spray some stuff on, mate. Okay, so here she is, the Mitsubishi Colt. So you can see the areas that Keith's going to paint. Now, I believe the roof is going, like we said, Mitsubishi Colt grey, which is nice. Uh, the rest of it's masked off. You can just about see the engine in there. Look at that, beautiful hoses. Nice forge valve, Dynaday's manifold. Nice car, this. this is a stage two car. You know I love my Mitsubishi Colts. So I'm really, really happy to see what in the spray move finally. You can see how much work's gone into the bonnet already. Look at that. It looks like a Jackson Pollock down here at the moment. And then we're doing a bit of a bit of the tailgate as you can see as well. So I believe we're I believe we're about to primer this up. About, We've got all the horribleness off. Yeah, it looks like there's been a bit of work done there. Yeah, that's that's sort of back to the really the original. This is the the, the bonnet itself. Yeah. The metal. Uh, and then we've got sort of a primer and this is the sort of base coat we sort of took we took about three layers of paint off that bonnet yeah because it was all pickling and blistering uh, the roof was original but it only had one coat of paint on but it's still blistered up uh, so just took that back hopefully we've got a nice nice few coats of uh, hybrid primer on it get that flat paint in fantastic where are you starting then? Uh, on the roof I believe on the roof just on this side yeah, we'll start on this side. Right? So, well, shall I be about here then? Yeah, I'm going to prime that side of the roof and then we'll walk around that side. Prime that You're side. priming these? Yeah, we're just going to come down here. We've just got to get a bit on here because these are, obviously, this is sort of caught the same weathering as, as the roof. Okay. But these are red. These are staying red. They're staying red. We're going to do the roof right. Okay, let's, uh, let's hit it. Hit it! No, no, don't do that. Quite a tall roof, that for a little car. It is, they are quite <laughs> tall. I think this one it actually is on coilovers as well. beautiful already. I, I like that colour, if I'm honest. <laughs> Do like private. What's, what's next? Uh, we'll prime up the tailgate pillars. Yeah. Uh, we've got a 
Okay, stop it. Yeah, that's it. And uh, I think I'd have a colt in that colour, you know. Mr. Russell Ray, if you're watching. Cousin right, Russ. Yeah, cousin Russ. <laughs> he had a, a VW Scirocco and he aerosol primed it all over in Battleship Grey. Aerosol? Uh, yeah, uh, it stayed like that for about six, maybe six months and then we finally took it in work and painted it trophy blue, MG colour. Yeah. And it didn't look the same car. Although it was painted in blue and shiny yeah. and fresh, I preferred it in Battleship Grey. <laughs> Just it. I, I really, I really like it. We should have battleship rated it. And I, I, I think I might have to buy a car just so I can have it that colour. Hope you and the kids are well, Russ. If you're watching, happy sister. We like, we like Russ, don't we? That's it. Then That's it. Off, then then flash off for five minutes. And, uh, I'll coat it up the second coat, but it's the same again. You just yeah, sure. Gray over Are you going to give us a shout when you're ready to put some nice on it? Uh, yeah, I'll, what I'm doing is priming it, baking it. I'll, we'll prep the roof uh, and then pull it back in, just, just paint the roof grey. Yeah. And then I think we'll prep everything and then go for painting the red bits tomorrow. Fantastic. All right, we'll check back in later. Cheers, mate. Hello, Russell. 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 Hello, Very dark for grey. For red. For, for, for grey. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks a bit dark for red. That it really does. But oh, no, it's grey. That, that's U63. U63. So that is the cold colour, isn't it? So that's the same colour as my old colour. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's looking it's what's out what the silver stuff. Yeah. 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 Pops a little bit. Yeah, good stuff. Well, it looks fantastic. Really getting on with it today, aren't we? I see the wig mirrors are also got in U63 Colt Grey. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, fantastic. See you tomorrow then, Keith. What for this? There's a few bits going red. 
That's gone red. That's bit, bit of red. Bit of red on this uh, beautiful coat. Indeed. Indeed. We're, like, we're trying to do some. The customer wanted to keep it to a minimum, so we're trying to do some. Uh, don't blow in, just keep the paint as small as possible. You'd rather paint the whole pillar and the whole quarter into the wind, really, because it's red and faded. Top of the tail game, we're going to try, try to match the colour the best we can yeah. with the use of the camera. Yeah. And uh, doing spray out cards. Uh, we're just trying to give the customer what he wants. What he wants, really. And, uh, and obviously, pass the saving off to the customer rather than just paint everything and it'd be a, a massive bill. Sure. Well, that, that's the level of service, so, uh, okay, let's go. let's go. I ain't got a mask. Sure and, uh, I have got one, really. Well, there she is, our first Mitsubishi Colt through the paint shop. Now, obviously, I've had bits of my Colt painted before by Uncle Keith, but this is the first Colt in the paint shop. Uh, I think we're all extremely proud of it. So uh, Keith's going to take her outside and then explain exactly what we've done. You all right with that, Keith? Let's, right, let's do it. Yeah. Right, here we go, Mitsubishi Colt CZT in at Uncle Keith's paint shop. Uncle Keith, explain what we've done. We've done some paint work. <laughs> <laughs> we certainly have. Well, okay. Came in. It says, uh, "Could you paint some bits on my car?" And the answer was yes, because that's what we do here. Yeah, that's right. Of course we can. And we said, "Of course we could do that." Um, we, we've we've had some parameters to work to. Uh, he didn't want to paint the full car. Um, he just wanted to rectify some bits that he wasn't happy with. Okay. So, bearing in mind, it's a 15, 17 year old car. Red in, car as well, which makes red. it worse. Um, it's obviously faded quite a lot. So we agreed to disagree that we're going to do the roof in uh, Colt Grey. 
because if forever it is decided that he wanted to repaint the car, it wouldn't be redoing the roof and taking the tailgate off again. Okay, so, so cold like grey. So we did full grey and obviously went down the back of the pillars, like into the aperture Point at the back. Now, obviously, if you've got a Colt CZT, you'll know that they've got no paint in there. Um, so by going into the aperture and coming down, what that allows is if we ever decide to go, like if he decides he wants to obviously go full red with it again, then obviously we can uh, just mask the roof off and we don't have to go through all this again with the tailgate and everything. Sure, sure. And deal with that. The major problem... Oh, that with, looks beautiful. That does, yeah. <laughs> The major problem with this car is, if you imagine that it's a it's a red 15 year old car, and what that's done is gone from red, which if you can see, if you can, pick it might it, not pick if the it camera up on... can pick it up. You've got the red of the spoiler. The plastics haven't faded. The same as the petrol cap has, the same as the uh, what's that? Now obviously that has faded, but not massively. Yeah. What we've been asked to try and do is, he didn't want to mint the car because he uses it for uh, track days, sprint series, things like that. He doesn't want to mint the car because then he'd be afraid to use it, obviously. Sure. But what he wanted to do is he didn't want lack of peel and he didn't want it to look a mess at yeah. the same time. So what we've been cha challenged to do, really, in my opinion, was we've cameraed the car. We know what the original colour of the car is, but the tone of the car is more orange because it's faded. So the, co the camera's obviously scaled that down. And what we've come up with is, is a, a, in my opinion, a very, very good match for the orange of the car. Now, bear in mind, the car's been blown in here. You can't see a blowing line, you can't see that. I mean, and also we've blown in on the tailgate because we had lack of peel on the top of the tailgate, obviously roof really badly, rails badly, which if you've got one, you know how they go. And then we blew it in. What that's allowed us to do is to just repair the areas that needed repairing, but keep the original paintwork on sure. the lower halves of the panels. So, I mean, these panels are not perfect. There are some little marks on, there's still a couple of little bits of rust. There's a little stone chips here and there, but like I say, the customer didn't want to mint the car. Uh, worst panel on the car was the bonnet. It had been off before and been repainted in like a uh, like a single pack paint. Uh, in all honesty, I don't even think it was necessarily the right colour. Um, so we've completely sewed that bonnet almost down to bare metal and redone that, and then obviously done that in the orange shade of the colour that we've obviously done everything else. Um, yeah, I think to be honest, out of what we thought as a technical challenge, this would be very difficult because of the colour. I believe it's come out really, really well. Well, it looks absolutely stunning. I think we've also managed to achieve what the customer wanted, which was a tidy up, a refresh to make it look nice, but at the same time we weren't minting it, is it? Yeah, we weren't repainting it. We haven't got seriously off colour panels. Yeah. Now, bearing in mind, the panels that we've done are no more off colour than anything else on the car is off colour. It yeah. almost looks original if you understand what I mean. Less the lack of here. The camera's done its best job at matching the, the condition of the paintwork that the car's in. Yeah. And that's, that's not to say that that'll match the next red colt that comes in. No, it won't. But yeah, after camera the next red colt. Then it would make an adjustment. And, and let it make an adjustment to match yeah. the next red colt. Yeah. But for this red colt, I think that's it. Like I say, I don't think it makes it look mint and it doesn't make it look brand new, but what it does do is allow it to um, All the serious defects are gone. Yeah, the serious defects are gone, and what it's allowing it to do is it's making the it's making the car just look original. So, in other words, you just think it's a little bit of a faded red Colt now. Yeah. Is that what it looks like? Which is obviously what we were trying to achieve. I like this one. I know you do. I did, I, honestly, Keith, I know how much hard work you've put yeah. into this, and it does look fantastic. I like this one. But we are fortunate that we've got the camera to help us there in the kit and the technology to do it. The camera is, is a very good piece of equipment. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of lot of money and development and research got into the camera and how yeah, it works and how, and how, and how, it, it, works how it matches colours. I mean, we, we're quite fortunate because we've got Sayers on our side as well, haven't we? Yeah. With the Cyrox system that we've we've employed, right. they're, they're, they're supporting us really well. Uh, and that's so. backed by Exalta. That's a, a massive paint company. Mm. The, the technology is unbelievable. American? Yeah. Well, those Yanks know what they're doing, don't they? Right, well, there we go. There's another one in the bag. Any final words, guys? Uh, yeah, like and subscribe and all that jazz. That's my saying. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say it. Give us a thumbs up, like yeah. and subscribe. Fantastic. Comment. And if you have got a, a Mitsubishi like Colt CZT, do comment below. Let us know what colour your car is. And if you do need any body work, fire a message over to the Facebook page at Uncle Keith and he'll come back to you with as much, uh, as much info as possible. Down if you need a touch up. Pop down if you want touch it up by Uncle Keith. Mm. It's <laughs> still a funny joke, that. <laughs> yeah. Right, and we'll see you all the next one, won't we, Rich? Well, and don't forget, satisfaction guaranteed. Or you're dead back. Or you're dead back. <laughs> <laughs>
pretty fast. 